Hey everybody, it's Vince. Today I wanted to talk about the Wayland Display Server. So, what is Wayland? Well, or even a display server. Well, a display server is what your desktop environment and login manager runs on top of to display graphics on your Linux system. Now, as far as the actual server, there's a couple different ones. There's Wayland and Xorg. Xorg is older than Linux, and so that's a big issue. And one of the reasons Wayland has come around is because that it is so old, right? That's from what I can tell, it seems to be one of the main kind of selling points from what I've seen looking around on the internet is, yeah, well, you know, you should use Wayland, we should make Wayland because we need you to just start over. Wayland's a new code base, it's completely from scratch, and it does basically the same thing Xorg did. It just does display server output, right? It just displays graphics. So it allows you to run things like GNOME and KDE and Mate and things like that all on your screen. Pretty cool stuff, right? Again, I don't really think it's that complicated, uh, but you know, I'm used to it. But that being said, why would you use one or the other? Because there is some reasons to still use one or the other. So Xorg, they're, you know, being the legacy thing, if you need certain things, they're not currently working properly on Wayland, you might still need to use Xorg. For example, a tool like a simple screen recorder that I like to use to record my screen doesn't work on Wayland right now. So you would need to actually use Xorg if you're using that application. But if you want to capture your screen with OBS Studio, that does work now if you're using one of the latest versions. So again, it depends on what you're using. Most applications work fine. I have been running Wayland as my display server on one of my code machines that I write code in every day pretty much. And that system runs VS Code all the time. It runs Firefox all the time and things like that. And it works perfectly fine. I haven't really run into any applications other than Simple Screen Recorder, at least personally, that had an issue with it. So for you, it might be different, but for me, that's, that's it. So if you're not gonna run into one of those edge cases of one of the few applications out there that does not support, okay, that does not support Wayland properly, then you should be good to go. Um, being it's a new code base, I find it's very stable, and I appreciate that. And again, I mean, Xorg is over 30 years old, Linux is 30 years old, and it's older than Linux. So just think about that for a minute. You know, the code base is old and it really, I feel like it, it made sense to rewrite it, okay? I really do, I think that makes a lot of sense. And you know, Wayland, in my testing, I've been using it for several months now, it works fine. Like I said, you know, I think the vast majority of users will be happy. One of the issues that I had with Xorg that I do not have on Wayland, and I love this, is on Xorg, you used to have a screen change. You move a window back really fast or something on the screen, or I'm doing this in a video and you're on Xorg, you might see a bunch of screen tearing. You won't see that on Wayland. So the ability to not have screen tearing is really nice, okay? I mean, who doesn't want to avoid that? Screen tearing is really ugly. So, you know, it's easy to use. I would say try it out. If you're on Ubuntu 2104, for example, you can go in on your login manager when it asks you to log in, and there's a little gear you can click on, and just click on that, and then there's an option for Ubuntu on Wayland if you're on 2104, or 2004, sorry, or above. So just check that out. That's what I'm doing right now, and it works really good. So some of my systems are still using Xorg because they're on older versions of Ubuntu. Planning on moving them at some point in the future. But the point of the matter is Wayland is definitely an improvement uh, on the screen tearing front. And again, it's very stable. I've had Xorg crash on me a few times. I have yet to have Wayland crash once, and that's pretty nice. So it does seem to me like that Wayland is definitely the future. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick video from Open Source tonight. Please let me know what you think about Wayland in the comments, and let me know if you're gonna switch to it. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye, everybody. And action.